in Williamsburg, Virginia, at the National Center for State Courts, with its Center for Jury Studies that has a branch office right across the river on Wilson Boulevard in Arlington. They quote Founding Father Thomas Jefferson yet again. Jefferson says, I consider trial by jury as the only anchor ever imagined by man by which government can be held to the principles of its constitution. Again, I consider trial by jury as the only anchor ever yet imagined by man by which government can be held to the principles of its constitution. In other words, held to be restrained from violating our rights as citizens. You have probably heard the saying, a man who represents himself as a fool is a client. Likely that saying came to you from a lawyer or secondhand from a lawyer. The true saying is a bit different. The two came from a lawyer, one who never went to law school, a man who was a repeated failure in life in one venture after another until he finally turned his life around and succeeded. Lincoln was that man, that lawyer, Abraham Lincoln. However, as an historian, I researched the saying of Lincoln to learn that he said, a lawyer who represents himself as a fool, as a client. Not any citizen, but a lawyer. The question we should then ask is, when? When did he become a fool? When he became a client or when he became a lawyer? Thank you very much. Now, that's uh, sort of the end of the, the first thing, but a few years ago, in, um, I guess I think it was 2002, and then 2003, I put together a petition for Virginia, and I'd like to share that petition with you. It's also on jury rights. The question of the petition is, should a citizen have the right to demand a jury trial in all cases, including cases of child custody. It then explains that the Bureau of Justice Statistics of the U.S. Department of Justice in 1990-99 study reveals the jury fines for the plaintiff 49% of the time, about equally fair to both plaintiff and defendant, while a judge sides with the plaintiff 62 percent providing some illustration of judicial bias of some 13 percent and that does not include judge rulings in domestic cases where the judicial bias for the plaintiff is considered to be far more so the question to you is yes i agree should the citizen should have a right to trial by a jury in a citizen in a child custody case. Let me read that again. Yes, I agree a citizen should have the right to a trial by jury in a child custody case. The alternative is no, I don't agree. The petition to reclaim the right to try jury trials for Virginia citizens. Whereas Thomas Jefferson in the birth certificate of America, our Declaration of Independence, in his inspired document of freedom, wrote wise words on one tyranny of his time, a tyranny also seen in our time. He wrote, the history of the present is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the, abs the establishment of an absolute tyranny for depriving us in many cases of the benefits of trial by jury and whereas the Supreme Court of the United States over 50 years ago in 1953 noted that a parent's right in children are rights more precious than any property right that's May versus Anderson 73 Supreme Court 843 1953 and whereas the Williamsburg Virginia based National Center for State Courts with its Center for Jury Studies, quotes Thomas Jefferson on its website. Quote, I consider trial by jury as the only anchor ever yet imagined by man by which government can be held to the principles of its constitution. 
And being some lawyers say the Constitution has never seen the inside of a divorce courtroom or a domestic courtroom where the precious right of time with one's child is decided. And whereas, contrary to the rich tradition of rights of Virginia citizens to trial by jury, according to Supreme Court of Virginia caseload statistics, out of near 34,000 divorces per year, judges allowed six or fewer jury trials per year. Out of 34,000 cases, six or less jury trials in domestic cases. Proving the fact of judicial tyranny where the history of the present courts of Virginia has been to deprive us in many cases of child custody or divorce, formerly called issues out of chancery, of the benefits of trial by jury. So, we, the people, see an irony and an insidious evil, or at least a danger, wherefore property damaged in a traffic accident, a citizen may demand a jury but for a parent-child relationship damaged by divorce, judges deny a mother or a father's right to a trial by jury through judicial misuse of the laws of Virginia to abuse parents. Code of Virginia, section 8.01-336 was titled Jury Trial of Right, Waiver of Jury Trial, Court-Ordered Jury Trial, trial by jury of plea in equity, issue out of transfery, where child custody or divorce were issues out of chancery. And part E stated, 8.01-336E, issue out of chancery, change to suit on equitable claim. In any suit on an equitable claim, the court may, of its own motion or upon motion of any party, supported by such parties affidavit that the case will be rendered doubtful by conflicting evidence of another party direct an issue to be trialed by before an advisory jury these changes were passed right before the close of the session on the 11th of march in the year of our lord 2005. continuing whereas the phrase the court may defines what judges call a permissive right. Yet a pers permissive right is no right at all, but rather a privilege to be bestowed or withheld at the whimsy or wish of a judge making for an the establishment of an absolute tyranny for depriving us in many cases of the benefits of trial by jury. And whereas the citizen's right to a trial by jury of his or her, her peers is a most valuable right, a right enshrined in the Constitution for the United States of America and the Constitution for Virginia. In the first 10 amendments, known as the Bill of Rights in the U.S. Constitution, both Article 6 for criminal cases and Article 7 for civil cases, where is proclaimed in suits at common law, the right to trial by jury shall be preserved. And Whereas in Virginia, the framers placed the Bill of Rights as Article I of the Constitution of Virginia before the rest of the Constitution to establish its preeminence in importance, wherein Section 11, the second paragraph states that in controversies respecting property and in suits between man and man, which of course would include woman and man, trial by jury is preferable to any other and ought to be held sacred. The General Assembly may limit the number of juries for civil cases in courts of record to not less than five. And whereas Virginia Appeals Court Judge D. Arthur Kelsey reminds Virginia citizens of the framers' belief, to them, the jury was no mere procedural formality, but a fundamental reservation of power in our constitutional structure. Justice suffrage ensures the people's ultimate control in the legislative and executive branches, jury trial, is meant to ensure their control in the judiciary.